Hi, my name is Pei Gwen Satsu and I'm the fourth year medical student and today's tutorial is CVP measurement, so let's get started. Start by wearing a glove which doesn't require to be a sterile glove. So here's the tool we need, we got the manometer which is the ruler attached by the extension tubes, we got the IV fluid line and we got the central line. The ruler will show the level of CVP. After that, we'll find a location for us to set zero position, or it's the level that is equal to the right atrium. So the location is the fourth intercostal space that intersecting with mid axillary line. So it should be around here. Now, once we locate the landmark, we'll put our instrument on the set zero position. Then after that, the fluids from the fluid bag will go from the IV lines into the central lines, and then. Once you want to measure the CVP, you just turn the three-way valve to let the fluids from the fluid back to flush into the extension tubes. Once you turn the valve, you also set the IV rate to the maximum to let the normal ceiling flush into the extension tubes. And once it fills the extension tubes, now you can close the lid on the top. Once everything is ready, turn the three-way valve to let the fluids from the extension tube flow into the central lines. The fluid from the extension tube will fall slowly from the extension tube into the central line to the level of the CVP. Normally, the level of CVP will be around 6 to 12 centimeters of water. When we measure the level of CVP, we'll measure it at the end of the expiration, which will count the highest pressure in centimeters of water.